Hey guys, Twin Joe Sofa. This is the uh, 40 watt solar panel I built, or it's actually just 410 watt panels mounted on a wooden frame. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and wire these uh, these solar panels up, all four of them, to give us 12 volts. Let's get started with it. Okay, so a lot of you guys know in my system I use a uh, regular house wiring, so I'm going to be putting this female plug on these uh, solar panels here. So that's just uh, the plug I'm going to be using. They're going to be soldered together. So I got my wire stripper, some heat shrink, and a wire cutter. So uh, of course, solder and iron and solder. So uh, just thought I'd mention that's going to be the plug I'll be using because it's uh, cheap, easy to get. I could add a regular house extension cord without having to alter it if I needed more length. So uh, yeah, that's going to be the plug I'll be using. Okay, so I stripped back all my cables here. Probably uh inch and a half to two inches so you see I got all four of them stripped back and we're just gonna strip back the uh, black and white conductors here so and uh yeah I am gonna keep all this extra length here just in case cuz it's better to have too much wire than to cut it short than uh, use these panels for something else and wish you hadn't cut it so yeah I am keeping all the extra length I'm just gonna uh, tie it up make it all nice so let's go and strip back all my all my conductors here, so there we go. Strip back all my grounds and my power wires. <clears throat> so I'm stripping them all back at once just to make it easier when I'm actually uh, soldering. Roughly, uh, see right there, about three quarter of an inch three quarter an inch half inch to three quarters so it's pretty good now um, here it's just my regular extension cord which can I strip it with this probably not yeah I got to uh, get my knife to cut back some of this insulation so be right back all right so I got my knife going strip back some of this orange insulation Back a little more of it. All right. So how I had it wired up with the plug, these two right here, the flat ones on top, those were power wires, and I had a dedicated ground, one ground wire. Uh, since I'm using 16 gauge wire, it's probably best I do it like that anyway, so I have uh, no power droppage. Uh, as far as the ground, ground's a little more forgiving as far as trying to keep your voltage up. But even with this, you see, 16 gauge on these panels. Let's see if I can find the exact size. It looks like it's uh maybe 20. Let's see. Kind of worn off. 18. I don't know if the you can see that. Probably not. It's kind of hard to see. Sun kind of faded, but I believe that says 18 kind of hard to see but uh yeah i'm using 16 gauge wire for four panels so and uh i'm having them two 16 gauge conductors like that which really makes it uh makes it closer to 12 gauges roughly so all right let's get the solder and iron warmed up so we can go ahead and make these uh solder joints okay so before we go much further make sure you got you some heat shrink over your uh wires i'm just going to start out with the uh power side for now and uh, go ahead and twist up all your power wires together so get all your power wires get this other one and twist them all up so I got them all twisted as you see let's bring that camera down a little got them all twisted up all my power wires ground wires we'll worry about them when we're actually doing them so uh, and we'll go ahead and tend these wires and uh, twist these all up together here and give us a good uh, good solder joint. All right, so I got all my uh, wires twisted up there. Let's go ahead and make the uh, solder connection. Got to get the flux, then uh, we'll be set up to uh, make the solder joint. Okay, let's go ahead and make the uh, connection here. Hopefully my heat shrink won't melt. I'll be surprised if it don't because that's a good bit of wires here. pretty thick so we're gonna have to use a lot of solder here 
make sure it flows evenly throughout all these wires to ensure a good uh, good connection all right just like that got us a good clean uh, solder joint there looks like our heat shrink starting to melt a little bit but uh worst thing i have we'll have to electrical tape it but uh i'll try to get that heat shrink over it well it was a fight but i finally got the uh heat shrink over it so let's go ahead and heat it up and uh get a good connection i mean a good uh watertight solder joint there okay so we got that one done now we just need to uh do the ground all right so we got the uh ground wires twisted up with my heat shrink on so let's go ahead and uh solder it into place <clears throat> hopefully our heat shrink won't melt this time but we'll see real important to uh, get a good amount of solder on there let's do a little bit more with it Once you get it hot enough, it's really easy, even with aluminum wires, to uh, take the solder. Okay, so apparently my heat shrink is still going to melt anyways. Put that on there just for a little heat sink. Okay, so I'm going to have to fight to get this uh, heat shrink on it too, but anyway, you uh, got a good solder joint there. Let me uh, get that heat shrink on. Okay, got that heat shrink on. Let's go ahead and heat it up. And it's heat shrink. You could always use electrical tape, but it's not going to be quite as watertight as the heat shrink will. So, if you have the heat shrink tube, and I highly suggest using it. So, what we're going to do for the rest of this, um, we're just going to electrical tape it, make it look a little nicer, and uh, go ahead and test the panel. So, but for now, we got all the wiring done. Testing's going to be another separate video, so uh, be looking out for it. Uh, but yeah, we've got the uh, new 40-watt solar panel, or I should say the four 10-watt solar panels, all wired up and ready to go and uh, be tested. So there it is. Got any questions, feel free to comment. Thank you all for watching.